I'm Tom Davidson with Ripping Kingston Systems. As an accomplished IT firm, we focus on delivering competitive advantage while reducing your overall IT cost. Two of our more popular offerings are our Google Apps and Virtual CIO. I invite you to visit our website or call for a free consultation. Hi, it's Brian Thomas from the 55KRC Morning Show. It's really wonderful to be back from vacation. Uh, particularly wonderful to have my first day back via Friday because that way I can easily transition back into work. Uh, I had a real enjoyable day, particularly talking to Ron Wilson. If you can get a chance to hear my conversation with Ron, we spoke for about an hour today. Uh, you can rerun that on podcast at 5krc.com, as with every day on the program. Podcast available at the blog page, 55krc.com. Uh, big, big story we talked about today, mostly the financial bill, which, of course, will be signed into law by Barack Obama, apparently this coming Wednesday, passed by the Senate the other day. Uh, let you draw your own conclusions about Scott Brown being a rhino and uh, turning coat and going ahead and voting for that to ensure its passage. I believe he will be the one uh, giving credit for its moving through. Uh, regardless of how you feel about it, you need to be painfully aware of the excess of 2,000-page bill giving the regulator, regulators that sit behind the scenes now the authority to begin drafting countless countless pages of regulations that will ultimately affect every aspect of your financial life and the financial lives of the various banks. Um, I'm, I am giving John Boehner a tremendous pass on his comment about using a nuclear weapon to kill an ant, and it was twisted and, mis and, and he was maligned for suggesting that our current economic situation uh, was an ant, when in fact he was referring to the epic size of the bill that was passed and that is now going to be signed into law versus the problems that should have been dealt with. Now, the problems maybe have been dealt with in this financial bill, but it also includes any number of other uh, seemingly ridiculous new commissions and obligations and studies. And if you read some of the articles that are posted on my webpage, 55krc.com, you get an idea of, of exactly what we're talking about here. No one really knows. Even Timmy Geithner pointed out, you know, it's going to take a long time before we come out and to see the impact of this, and it's really scary. Another illustration of Congress, of our government passing a bill that they really don't know ultimately what is going to shake out, and there is no way for them to know. It's candor, in fact. There's no way for them to know how it's all going to shake out because most of it hasn't been written. The framework is there. The regulations have yet to come. And that is where all of the great uncertainty comes from. And I'm sure, I'm sure the banking industry is probably has greater uncertainty now that it's passed than it did before it passed. So, but don't think the lobbyists aren't finished with it, no, because lobbyists also have the regulators' phone numbers. So this should be a real great free-for-all going on now for the next couple of years. Check it all out. It's on my blog page at 55krc.com. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back on Monday with Nathan Backrack and Ed Fink for Simply Money Monday as well, your phone calls and all the events of the weekend and day. Have a great weekend.